What's going on? I am Darius. This is Sugarless Crystals, your sugar-free destination of YouTube. Well, I guess I can do it. Enjoy me. I'm guilt-free. Uh, indulge. So, I'm out today and I'm going to do the best gingerbread cake recipe. Or rather, a versus. Now, last time I did two different blogs. This time around, I'm doing three. Okay? I'm doing green and keto again because that pumpkin bread was so good like it was amazing and i'm doing keto connect the gingerbread cake recipe and i'm doing who's the other one? Oh, all day all i dream about is food i'm doing her gingerbread cake uh, i'm doing her gingerbread cake recipe the keto connect one they just simply use a cream cheese icing of theirs but green and keto uses a lemon cream cheese icing and all day i dream about food they use a maple flavored cream cheese icing. So this is gonna be rather interesting. I am going to put all of the links to the blogs in the description box below for you guys. So you can check everything out over there. I'm gonna start off with uh, Keto Connects. Now, a couple tips about Keto Connects. What they use is, they tend to use um, coconut flour. Now, I made this a year ago when they first released it because I thought, I was like, oh snap, gingerbread cake, like I gotta try it out. But it came out like super, super dry. And I also read in the comments, a lot of other people said theirs came out super dry as well. A characteristic of coconut flour is the dryness. And the way the batter comes out, it comes out like super like lumpy, I guess you, I don't wanna say lumpy, but well, it comes out dry. And so you can't do the toothpick test because even when you first put it in there, if you put a toothpick in, it's gonna come out clean. What I'll notice is, more than likely, most people that make this recipe, it's, they're gonna overcook it. On average, they're gonna overcook it because there is no way to really gauge if it's done or not. And even the final product is still gonna be on the somewhat dry side. Well, you know what, let me stop talking. Let's jump into this. Okay, so this particular one is the Keto Connect version. And this is a cream cheese icing right here. Keep connect, it's uh, yeah, you see it's like really, it's very, very dense and dry. Like, okay, so I knew, now of course, because I cook all the time, I knew when around about when I should have pulled it out. So I did, but of course it's coconut flour, so it still came out on the dry side. I'll tell you what, let me stop talking and let's run through these ingredients really fast. All right, so for the gingerbread cake itself, we have a fourth a cup of brown butter, three fourths cup coconut flour, three fourths cup of erythritol, four large eggs, a half a baking powder, oh, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of maple extract, two teaspoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of allspice. Now, something I've started to notice amongst a lot of food bloggers is they use erythritol. And I get it, like, but see, I like to use monk fruit in my recipes for a good reason. Because monk fruit is sweeter than erythritol. But for those budget friendly people, erythritol is the cheaper choice. Let's see. All right. It's still dry because it's coconut flour, but you know, I prefer coconut flour because I don't like ingesting all those nuts like that, but that's my preference. Now, what I must say about this one is for someone new, like the erythritol is rather strong in this one. So you definitely get like the cooling effect rather fast. It doesn't bother me simply because I'm used to it at this point, but for someone new, it may throw them off a bit but just work through it. I mean, it definitely tastes like an authentic gingerbread cookie made with erythritol, if that makes sense. <laughs> so no, it's not gonna taste like the one that you got in the junk food aisle. But when you think gingerbread cookie or a sugar-free one, this definitely hits the spot. Or it definitely is around about where it should taste. You know, I need to grab some water. Mm. I'm gonna test the frosting out. The 
frosting definitely helped the oh yeah the frosting helped a whole lot with the dryness but that's why i'm sure that's what they designed it to do but the cream cheese frosting i mean by itself is good it's your classic cream cheese frosting they made it cream cheese butter powdered erythritol or you can use swerve yourself vanilla extract and pink salt classic cream cheese frosting and executed very well all right so next up we have all day i dream about is food and this is her gingerbread with the maple. Let me break it apart for you. Uh, it's a little less dense. Um, still kind of on the dry side. And this is, well, that's not cute. But <laughs> that's the maple cream cheese frosting. And now with hers, the textures probably will be a little bit different. Um, it was thick like the Keto Connects but it wasn't as crumbly. Now this one, you can do your toothpick test and come out pretty accurate as far as when the doneness is done. Yeah, when the doneness is done, yeah. Um, that, all right, I'm gonna go with it, I'm gonna go with it. She, hers is a loaf cake, so it was three cups of almond flour, a half a cup to three fourths cup of Swerve, or powder to rip to tall if you wanna do. Now, a quick side note, Swerve is stevia and erythritol and if you rather do your own erythritol then of course it'll just be erythritol so the coolness isn't as strong in swerve but swerve is going to be more expensive a half a cup of whey protein powder now i didn't have whey protein powder but i had whey, whey protein isolate it can be used as one and the same except the whey protein powder is going to have some presence of carbs in it the whey protein isolate isolated protein pretty much two tablespoons of cocoa powder one tablespoon of baking powder, four tablespoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of ground cloves, three large eggs, half a cup of melted butter. Oh, shoot. Oh, mmm. I messed up. I skipped the butter. <laughs> A fourth a cup of heavy cream, a fourth a cup of water, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, so I skipped an ingredient. All right, that's why. All right, so, okay. So it's gonna be less buttery, and I'm sure it's gonna affect the texture. Of, I'm not, I'm sure, I know for a fact it affected the texture of the cake. So I guess, I don't, maybe it won't be like a, uh, fair judgment i mean i don't know the the spices are still there so it may be just fine okay so i can taste the cocoa powder in it it's not heavy i feel like the co like cocoa is very very strong and i feel like it overpowers the spices for the gingerbread. I hate to say that because it's so subtle. Like it's not like it tastes like a chocolate cake because it doesn't. But I can just tell the cocoa's powder. I can tell the cocoa powder is in there. To be honest, the butter probably. Um, I'm almost certain the butter wouldn't have dumbed that cocoa powder flavor down. It would have made it more buttery, but not more gingerbread cake like. She's and she's actually a very well known blogger. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not nasty at all. But for right now, Keto Connect is still in the lead. But the texture is far better and it's not dry. And it wouldn't be dry. It would probably be a lot more moist too if I put the um, butter in there. Not probably, I know it would have been. And she uses a maple cream cheese frosting. And that's four ounces of cream cheese, three tablespoons of Swerve or powdered sweetener, four to six tablespoons of heavy cream, and one, tea one teaspoon of maple extract. Now, of course, it's optional to garnish with the pecans, but I didn't do that. We're just going to keep it simple because we're just tasting the cake. That maple frosting is really, really, really good. Wow. It didn't make it more gingerbread-like, but it just gave it like a really, really, it's a really, really good cake. The frosting really took it and it complimented that, I'm guessing she knew that. That cocoa powder complimented that maple frosting very well. And you got a hint of the spices still under there as normal, 
but that, that maple and that cocoa powder worked well together. No, it didn't taste like a chocolate cake. Not at all. It was still very good. I almost don't even know if I could put it in the category of a gingerbread cake because I just didn't get gingerbread out of it. Not like that. I got some sort of maple, like a maple spice cake maybe? But gingerbread, no. But a good cake, yeah, definitely. I, I would never, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's nasty. And the texture, I'm sure with the butter, would have been on point. Now here is green and keto. Much, much more moist than the other two. Look at that texture. And then that's the lemon cream cheese frosting of theirs. For those that don't know, Green and Keto was the start of my last Versus video. That pumpkin bread, oh my God, it was so, so good. Someone on Instagram even hit me up and was like, I tried this and it was as good as you said it was. Like, I mean, it just, when I bit into it, like my eyes just kind of like, oh, it was that good. I mean, it was super, super moist. Like, I, so when I saw that Green and Keto released a gingerbread cake recipe, I was like, all day long. And to be honest, that's what sparked this versus video. I was like, let me see if they can win again. Now of the three, this was the loosest batter and you're definitely gonna have no problem doing it with the toothpick test. Now they said a half a cup of melted butter or brown butter. I did melted butter because they gave me an option to do so. Like, you know, pff, you gonna, you gonna tell me I could do one easy or harder? Um, I'm gonna go with the easy one. Now for flavor, of course, you would think I would go with the brown butter, but uh, I mean, you don't have to. A half a cup of erythritol, four large eggs, a half a cup of low carb maple syrup, like Lakanto that I use, or either Choc Zero, which I have here. And speaking of Choc Zero, I have a discount code for 10% off. I'll put that in the description box below for you guys. They have a great maple syrup, and that's what I use for this one. A half a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a cup of coconut flour, a fourth a cup of almond flour, a half a cup of psyllium husk powder, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of ground ginger, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, a fourth a teaspoon of ground cloves, and a fourth a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Now, one thing, um, they did very well last time was how they split the spices up and something that i've noticed whenever you split the spices up versus buying pumpkin spice or gingerbread spice if you know what you're doing it always comes out better always like i wish i knew how to do it but pumpkin spice for me Okay, so the texture's really good, but it's not as sweet as I would like it to be. Not for cake-wise. The gingerbread spices don't come through very well, honestly. I, I would hype them up a little bit, but not too much. But see, if you know, if you take a whole teaspoon and do two teaspoons, that's probably gonna be too much for the size of the cake. So maybe a, maybe a fourth or a half. I, I don't even know, a half might be too much too. I would like to have a little bit more ginger and cinnamon in this. I'm a little disappointed. Oh, I really thought they were gonna be, that's why I saved them for last. I thought they were gonna be the star. And their lemon cream cheese icing, four ounces of cream cheese, fourth a cup of butter, half a cup of powder of erythritol or swerve, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a pinch of salt. I didn't add a pinch of salt in there. I really, I mean, when they say pinch of salt, I just kind of be like, just whatever. Like. <laughs> the icing it's like it's, it's good um the lemon flavor is super strong in it it's so strong when i added to the gingerbread cake i had no idea what kind of cake i was eating like the lemon flavor is so strong jesus probably one tablespoon of lemon juice might have been enough because i mean 
you a hint of lemon is cool but lemon is another strong flavor like that it really overpowered the cake i mean once again it's not nasty it's just not what you expect it to be between this one and all day i dream about food they had the best textures i feel like you guys already know who i would determine the winner would be if it was off texture it would be green and keto but at the end of the day like texture is important don't please don't miss yeah i'm not going to say texture is important texture is very very important but what's more important than um what's more important than texture flavor taste taste plays into texture but you know it's that's not a whole i'm going out right now <laughs> but keto connect I, I gotta give it to Keto Connect. Keto Connect had the best one as far as flavor. The only thing is, the only thing about it is just so dry. It is so dry. But the flavor was there. Like, when I ate it, I got gingerbread all day long. The other two just didn't give me gingerbread like that. But Keto Connect gave me gingerbread with a dry cake. Let me, okay, let me stop playing around about it being dry. Okay, it's coconut flour. It's just, it's gonna happen. It's just gonna be dry. I mean, I need some water though. I really, I really need some water. Mm. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if there are any other verses you guys would like to see me do, drop it in the comment section and I will get those done for you. I actually did a gingerbread recipe because we're entering that season. And I want to be ahead of the crowd. So if there are any other gingerbread recipes you would like me to try, whether it's gingerbread pancakes, maybe gingerbread cookies, drop in the description box below. Uh, description box. <laughs> drop in the comments Drop in the comment section below, and I will definitely do a gingerbread cookie challenge for you guys. So Keto Connect is the winner, and I will see you guys next time. Um, what I'm getting ready to do is swap some of these cakes with the icings and see what goes with that. Cause probably the maple was the best one and the lemon could have been the best one, but there was just too much lemon, okay? Too much lemon.